Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in this video, I would like to explain to you the difference between choice column and managed metadata columns in SharePoint Online. So um, this only applies, obviously, if you are utilizing or thinking of utilizing metadata in SharePoint. Um, and essentially what I mean by metadata are the tags, the columns uh, of information that you apply to uh, files in the document library instead of folders. So for example, here is my policies library, and I have uh, all these different um, columns that I created, um, a, a list of uh, departments, um, approval status, you know, uh, author, and so on. And essentially the idea is that uh, a user can uh, come in uh, and uh, fill in the appropriate metadata and uh, choose uh, for example, from the list of available, you know, choices, in this case, uh, department, uh, and uh, tag it, uh, you know, tag the content that way. And, and obviously, there are many benefits to metadata, like, you know, grouping, sort, and filtering. I'm not going to explain uh, uh, this, um, you know, that particular topic in this video. What I do want to explain to you are two uh, different ways to set up the drop-down choices in, uh, in SharePoint. Uh, we have what's called a choice column, like I said, and managed metadata column. What's the difference? Let me explain. So um, um, here I have a, a, just a simple document library. And when you click Add Column, um, one of the first choices you have is the choice column. And what is a choice column? It's essentially a column where you just kind of define your choices, whatever they are. So let's, in our case, um, let's just say we are creating uh, a document type uh, column. And I'm going to do uh, a few uh, you know, document types, just like that. Uh, all right, perfect. And you can, of course, add other ones. Let's not worry about it. And uh, what this means now is that now I can tag um, essentially these documents against all these uh, values just to show you really quick, um, pretty much uh, just like that, all right? Pretty, pretty straightforward. Um, perfect. Now, um, that's option number one. What I just showed you is the choice column. And of course, the benefits uh, of this choice column are, you know, that. Uh, um, essentially, it was just super easy. It literally took me seconds to create it and, you know, tag the information. Uh, now, um, there is another option, something called managed metadata. And I'm going to uh, first briefly show it to you. So if you uh, click on Add Column, scroll all the way down, you will see another option called managed metadata. And when you click on that, it actually will, um, you know, show you, it will prompt you to select what's called a term set. And, you know, just to give you a bit of preview, look at this, I can go against, you know, the list, uh, defined lists of metadata uh, that already exist. Now, what is the idea behind this? You know, like, what's the difference? Why I use that? Uh, and not the choice column. So first of all, let me show you where all of these choices come from. So remember when I created the choice column, uh, I just literally you know, created everything on the fly, right? Uh, and obviously the list um, exists on this particular site, on this particular library, and it's unique to my site and my library. Um, however, let's say as an organization, right, you want to standardize on um, you know, certain lists of uh, drop-down choices, um, like maybe a list of vendors, clients, document types, departments, and so on. So in this case, you, you know, we cannot define those, you know, here locally, right? We have to define something that's global to the entire organization. So for that, you would utilize something called managed metadata. And managed metadata essentially means that this is metadata defined in something called term store. Now, this is an admin feature for obvious reasons, uh, but let me show you how to get there. So uh, obviously, you need to be a SharePoint admin to access this area. I'm going to um, Admin Center. All right, let's give it a second. Here we go. And this is a global uh, Microsoft 365 Admin Center. We need the SharePoint uh, Admin Center. And uh, in SharePoint Admin Center, under Content Services, if you click, you know, Term Store, 
uh, this is where you will get to see the term store. And think of it as almost like a central repository, uh, one you know, huge box of labels, drop-down choices that uh, you can use and reuse across your organization. And this is where I have them defined. Now, there is a lot that goes in it, you know, in terms of set, setting this up. Um, you know, I already have a number of videos uh, on my YouTube channel and plan to record more uh, in the future. But for now, just want to briefly explain to you kind of the structure of it. Um, you can see all of this uh, company-wide, um, uh, you know, term sets, you know, managed metadata defined here, all those drop-down choices. And uh, for example, if I want to standardize on document types, here's the list I would use, all right? And that's pretty much the big idea behind the term store. So uh, now there are many, many more advantages to it. And once again, I uh, plan to record additional videos on my uh, YouTube ch uh, channel down the road, but just to name a few. So obviously the biggest advantage of this is the fact that this is global to the entire organization. So uh, if I want, once again, to standardize uh, on drop-down choices, uh, I would need to define them here and they will be available to all the site, uh, you know, all the sites and all the lists uh, and libraries. Uh, another benefit, you can actually create hierarchies of, um, you know, terms. Remember with the choice column, it was just pretty much a flat list of, um, you know, labels. You can actually build hierarchies uh, of terms just like um, I, I showed you. Let me show you another example, you see, so you can actually build something like this where you have a label and a label and a label. Um, there are many other advantages. You can actually provide translation, you know, for the labels or even set up synonyms, right? Uh, let's say you have um, um, one of the document types is uh, contract, but you know what, uh, you know, other people, uh, myself included, call it uh, SOW, statement of work, right? We mean the same thing, but you can actually define all of this within the term store. Once again, this is a topic for another you know, video sometimes, uh, sometime down the road. But the idea is that you would define all of the terms, uh, you know, uh, terms in here. And then when you, you know, create a column, instead of the choice column, you would need to navigate to manage metadata. And let's, um, um, you know, let me uh, create another column. Obviously I'm creating a unique name. Uh, and yeah, let's just say it was created in the term store. Uh, by the way, if you hear manage metadata and term store, same thing, all right? So manage metadata is essentially the metadata defined within the term store that I just showed you. And then you have to remember we're not defining any uh, choices here. We pretty much have to now map this column to this term set. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. And you pretty much see the same list I just showed you in the Torum store, right? Uh, it's available to automatically to all the sites and uh, libraries. And I'm going to pick on this list of document types. And that's it. Pretty much uh, I'm done. And uh, now let me, um, let me just uh, tag a few items. Uh, the tagging, I mean, that part is pretty much, you know, the same, right? You just literally... Uh, do something like this. Um, by the way, you can also, you know, type in the uh, the name uh, of the, uh, you know, of the. Uh, uh, let me see what I have here. Probably I need to pick uh, from uh, one of the available values. All right, but you get the idea. You get the idea. Let me just uh, finish tagging of that. Perfect. All right. So now same column. Same column defined uh, two different ways, but the benefit of this option is the fact that um, if, let's say, um, you know, the admin adds a few additional values at the tenant level, they will automatically be available to, um, you know, my site and my library, and I will be able, would be able to select them. And uh, doesn't really matter whether it's my site or somebody else's site. Um, or library, we all have the same naming convention. So that's the biggest benefit of term store metadata. And in all honesty, um, I mean, I, obviously, if you are following my blogs, I am a huge, huge 
advocate of metadata, but terms of metadata is my favorite. Uh, definitely lots and lots of advantages. And uh, like I said, feel free to um, check out my um, uh, blog at SharePointMaven.com. I, I really have lots and lots of posts dedicated to uh, the Torum store and the topic of metadata. And also feel free to check out my YouTube channel. But for now, thank you very much uh, for watching and talk to you soon. Goodbye.